Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got Chris and Stacey with me. Hey y'all. Shalom. And today we're talking about the timing of the sacrifice of our Messiah and when it's Passover. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit surprised in this class how um, the timing of the sacrifice is little known. Ain't that right, Stacey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we actually came into... Um, I guess a new knowledge of it as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But where we're going to start from is we're going to come over here to Exodus chapter 12. And we're looking all the way down to about verse 6. If you would, Stacey, would you come and read verse 6? Verse 6. And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. This is talking about the lamb. Right. The lamb that was supposed to be sacrificed back there with Moses before they left Egypt. If you will go ahead and read verse 7. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. So this is going on on the 14th day of the first month. Right. And then the last verse right here, if you would, verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh and that night roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Now, so that's when the Passover was instituted as far as when man started to learn about Passover. Right. But when we come over to Leviticus chapter 23, we see where it's instituted as a statute. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, read down there uh, verse 4 and 5. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. And the 14th day of the first month at Eve is the Lord's Passover. So this what was being talked about over here in Exodus is the Lord's Passover because it's saying that it's the 14th day of the first month. Right. So you look at all that happened on the 14th day of the first month. It says that this is when they were to kill the lamb and to put his blood up on the doorpost. Mm hmm. So when we fast forward to the New Testament and start looking in Matthew chapter 26 as to what the Messiah actually did on that day, we could kind of get an idea of what we were supposed to be doing. Right. You see, he kind of starts off talking about the Passover. Then you have the woman down there in about verse six coming with the alabaster box with the precious ointment. Mm -hmm. we, he was saying that that could have something to do with Judas's decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. To... Um, hand over the Messiah because of the money. You see that down in about verse 15 where it starts talking about the 30 pieces of silver. Right. But then you get down there about verse 17 where it starts talking about the Passover again and it's talking about them preparing for the Passover. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, you're pretty quiet. Go ahead and read verse 17. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying unto him, where wilt thou we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? So here you have them on, it says, the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Right. And this is part of the confusion because they use the words unleavened bread and Passover interchangeably. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of have no, no idea of knowing which one they're actually talking about until you understand the timing, which is what we're trying to do in this video. Okay. So when he says the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, he's actually talking about Passover here. We know that because it is on Passover that we actually prepare the lamb. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first day of Unleavened Bread will be the 15th day of the first month. That's the Sabbath day. And of course, you can't do any type of preparation, um, let alone killing an animal. So we do that on the 14th day, the preparation day. Uh, which will be the sixth day of the work week, is when they're talking about right here when they started to prepare for the place for to eat the Passover. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, this will be important here as we talk about the timing, but as we step stepping down through here, we see that after they decided that they were going to kill the Passover, they went to find a place where they were going to kill the Passover. Right. Mm -hmm. Basically a house for them to have it in since they more nomadic exactly but this is where the confusion comes in because they're actually about to have a meal on the 14th day of the first month but when you look back at what Leviticus 23 told us to do it didn't say to have a meal it said 
that it was the Passover. And then when you look back at Exodus chapter 12, it says that that is the evening that they were supposed to kill the Passover, take his blood and sprinkle it on the doorpost. You see there in verse seven. Mm -hmm. But you see right there in verse eight, it says, and they shall eat the flesh in that night. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, there's a little bit of confusion in, in these verses. And I believe it's primarily because of the words that we kind of use um, interchangeably nowadays, like the word night and evening. When you understand the difference between the two, it's easy to understand what he's saying here is that they're killing it in the evening at the beginning of the 14th day of the first month, but they're actually going to eat it that night, which will be on the 15th day. What we would say is the next day. The next day. Right, because it would definitely be very hard um, to kill it, um, drain the blood, roast it, and eat it that very same night. Yeah, it takes eight hours just to roast it. And, you know, that don't include, like you say, uh, preparing it. Right. Um, cleaning it and seasoning it and stuff. But I believe the proof itself is in what the Messiah actually did on the 14th day. So let's go back over and let's look at that. Okay. So you have them right there in verse 21 talking about how somebody was going to betray the Messiah. Yes. This would have been immediately after the Passover had been dispatched. Mm hmm so that's them eating a meal on Passover. But like we said, it can't be the lamb because they just killed it. Right. right. I mean, we're talking within hours at this point of dispatching this lamb. There's absolutely no way to ha to eat it now. And this is important because like we said, we're, we're trying to get the timing right. And if we were actually dispatching a whole lamb, it would make sense because like Stacy said, it takes time to drain the blood. It takes time to do different things. Um, but now that we're only talking about wine, it's really a matters to which night do we actually drink the wine. Mm -hmm. And so that's the essence of this class, um, is which night did the Messiah drink the wine? Was it the 14th night or was it the 15th night? Right. We're seeing here that they dispatched the lamb at the evening, right at the beginning of the 14th night. And after they have eaten this meal, which, you know, could have very well been spaghetti or something like that. <laughs> now the Messiah is breaking out this bread, like we see there in verse 26, and he is instituting what we now know as the Passover feast or the communion. Yes. Mm -hmm. if, if you would read verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. So here it is. The Passover supper, but it is on the evening of the 14th. Right. Mm -hmm. When you think about them and their Good Friday, this all would have went down on Good Friday. Right. This is when they would have instituted the communion. Like you see, we'll go read verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remissions of sins. Now, like we said, Stacy and I have been talking on this earlier, um, but one of the things that came out of that discussion is how this is the exact time of his sacrifice. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were talking about um, how the blood, and just sitting here reading this now, um, I absolutely think that what we were discussing earlier is correct. Well, what we were talking about was how, like when you read, Back in Exodus chapter 11, how they were supposed to um, shed his blood on the 14th day of the first month. And then if we consider what the book of Jubilee said in chapter 49, which is pretty much all about the Passover, we see down in verse 12 where it says that it's not permissible to slay it. Or I'm talking about the Passover during any period of the light. Well, the Messiah would have been here on this night from the evening between the evening and the morning making his sacrifice actually sacrificing his blood mm -hmm. you know that's important to the understanding because you think well they didn't actually kill him to 9 a.m. the next day yeah mm -hmm. but it's not permissible to actually slay the lamb during the day during the day yeah so, so that tells us that 
that was something else. Yeah. It actually would have had to have occurred before then. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember that they also had to apply the blood on the lentil. Right. Well, the wine is actually that blood, right? Yes. And the lentil is our is is our our fleshly tabernacles now. Yes. So by the time they drank the wine, the sacrifice, the lamb had to already have been sacrificed. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. So it's it's important to the to the understanding because it it portrays our Messiah not having his life taken away when they put him up on the cross. But he actually laid it down when he first passed that cup. Yeah, he freely, freely laid his life down. They didn't, you know, and scripture even says that they didn't take it away from him. He freely gave it. When he broke that bread, he was essentially breaking his own flesh, thereby rendering his body useless at that point. Mm -hmm. And just like that lamb, the, the next day, what we, what, you know, they would consider their Saturday was just the day of processing, the day yeah. of, you know, getting him ready to, you know, be the burnt offering, which he was by the end of that night, which would have been the beginning of the 15th day of the sacred month or the sabbatical day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the sacrifice was already completed the night before. The sacrifice was done, like you said, when he broke that bread and when he gave that cup and said, this is my blood, that was the moment. Yeah. That he shed his blood. Yeah, because also, uh, Coach, when you think about, you know, it's the life, life that is in the blood. Yeah, so and he gave so his, yeah. when he gave them um, his blood, when he gave them the wine, you know, that was him giving up his life. And then, um, you know, you go down to Matthew and the 28th verse where it says, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. We also know that um, it is the giving of the blood that takes away the sin. Yeah. So once he gives gave that blood, he gave his life. But you know, it all had it all has to do with the blood and the wine. Right. And so what's important, and that's a great point. And what's important to this video is to understand this went down on Friday evening. Right. Or good or the first, the fourteenth day in, in the year twenty twenty two that corresponds to Good Friday. And so you have him doing his sacrifice, giving his blood, like you say, on the fourteenth day, uh after sunset. Right. Right. And then so the next day, um, which will also be considered Passover. Mm -hmm. Let me look up the calendar right quick. In the year twenty twenty two, you have uh, the Passover meal being the evening of April the 15th. That's Friday evening. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the uh, whole day would be Saturday. But that's the day when it's preparing the lamb. Yes. Doing, doing all of the cooking, like you say, eight hours to cook this whole lamb. But then by that evening is when it has to be done, just like the Messiah had to be in the tomb by sunset on the evening of the 15th day mm -hmm. because that began the high holy day which is the first day of unleavened bread right right so like i said i want to remind us the importance is this communion this ever so important communion actually goes down on friday evening this year and it always goes down on the evening the beginning of the 14th day of the first month so i believe that clears up a lot of the confusion then on when we're actually supposed to do Passover, maybe even what we're supposed to do on Passover, and that's the communion on the 14th day. Yeah, so you would go in and have like what we would call a regular dinner. Uh -huh. And, you know, like we were discussing about, they would have had um, bread, bread and wine. That would have just been a staple part of their everyday dinner. Right. And so you would prepare your regular dinner and... You know, during that dinner, you would have um, the breaking of the bread and um, drinking of the wine. Yeah, because it's important to understand they had already had dinner mm -hmm. or he was doing dinner. You know, so he was eating something else when the Messiah took that bread and broke it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, I guess we'll go ahead and close it out there. Yeah. We hope you guys um, got a full understanding of it. And if not, you know, leave your questions and comments below and Coach will answer them. 
If possible. Okay, ain't gonna have no help. Ain't gonna help. <laughs> we'll get it figured out, y'all. See you in the comment section. Shalom. Shalom.